Welcome friends, my name is Brandon, also known as the Lethargic Sloth, and I think it's a good time to cover Australia at Eurovision 2024. Australia, I'm glad to see you. There were questions about whether you'd be here, be back for 2024, so it's good to see Australia continuing to participate in the contest. Australia has always been involved in Eurovision since I started watching in 2015, so for me, it's not weird at all to see Australia in there. It was just from when I started, that was a thing. I know no differently. Um, <laughs> so to lose Australia would be very sad. So um, this year we get Electric Fields uh, with One Blood sung in English and an Aboriginal language that I cannot pronounce and I won't try to butcher. Um, but Electric Fields was a 2019 possibility that they had a very dynamic song, 22,000 and something, and uh, almost made it. Uh, a lot of people thought they should have made it. And I just remember it being a very interesting and eclectic performance. And I'm excited to see what they're doing this year. I think I did a reaction to that video, I believe. Uh, if I did, I'll post and pin in the comment. You can check out my reaction to their 2019 Australia Decides. I'm fairly certain that I did cover it. So uh, I remember liking it and enjoying it and thinking it was interesting. It was a very interesting musical style. So uh, let's check it out and see what they brought this year in 2014. Well, I gotta say, I'm I'm not the biggest proponent of the songs that are like world peace and love and any, or anything like that. They just don't really hit me right. I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Electric Fields was always about just, you know, bringing people together and and world peace and stuff like that it's a nice idea you know it's one of those things that but me personally i'm always kind of like oh okay whatever you know it's kind of hippie talk a little bit i guess but god the singing and vocals and even the music and this just outstanding um again topically i'm, I'm not as sold i'm not as interested in the lyrics, I guess. But it's beautiful what they did here. It's just incredible. The uh, Zachariah's voice is out of this world as a singer and their sync and quality is just off the roof. I really, yeah, yeah, I enjoy the song. Uh, I probably would download it. Again, I get... <laughs> It's funny because it's it, it's deep, and then they mention the Fleetwood Max and the Janets and and uh, uh, spilling tea and stuff like it. It's got the the, the deep feel, but then it's kind of tongue in cheek also. Um, it's fun. That is what this is. It is a good time. It is three minutes that I'm glad that I spent listening to it, and uh, yeah. I, this this has to qualify, right? Like, there's nothing that's going to sound like this, that's for sure. I love that they have their Aboriginal language and the sounds and the instruments. and um, They're so unique as performers that this can't be left in this, the semifinal. Which is, well, now I've listened to three songs from the semifinal specifically, and I feel like all three of them are going to qualify. So, I don't know. We shall see which ones aren't. It might be a tough choice. You might think, oh, 15. It's easy to choose 15 as opposed to 17, 18, or even 19 for a semifinal. This is starting to make me nervous because so far every song that I've heard, the three, Cyprus... Luxembourg and Australia seem like they're going to qualify, but we shall see. There's a lot to go. I really want to know your opinion on this because this is a very unique song. I don't know where it's going to end up on my list. It, it, I'm guessing, uh, you know, could make top 10, could be teens. I really like it. 
I probably would go 7 out of 10 just because topically maybe it's not something that I'm the most in. But would I download it? Sure. If it comes on, would I listen to it? Every time. So I think this is a great entry by Australia. A qualifier for sure. Winner probably not, but it could surprise some people and jump like 7th, 6th. You just never know. Um, jury could love this and televotes too so uh, it might be in for a really good finish for Australia I'm not sure we shall see let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, I am the lethargic sloth and for now lethargic sloth